the most dangerous school in America. This is the fire alarm? This is a disgrace and it's an outrage. If we did have, have a fire at all, we'd be in big trouble. Parents pretty upset. Very upset. Ladies and freaklies, welcome to another video. In a recent video, we talked about mistakes schools have made in the past. Wildly successful video. So I thought we would do another video and cover some of the most dangerous and disgusting schools in America. So come with me as we laugh at the failures of our local government as children suffer. That doesn't sound like something to laugh at. But anyway, this will be interesting, I promise. And I think for a couple of these, we might actually do a little bit of research and see if things have improved or changed with some of these schools. But before the video begins, don't forget to use code CHAD for some G Fuel. Chadtronic is brought to you by G Fuel, a natural energy drink formula that is a healthy alternative to sugar-loaded energy drinks that is both delicious and has no crash. Get it in powder, get it in a can, Use code CHAD at checkout while the promotion lasts. This first report is about a school that has a mold problem. Going to standing here in front of this community to let them speak about what they're going to share is a useless loose of all our time. An argument echoing throughout the meeting. Communication. It is unethical that the Howard County community school system did not tell our full community. Unethical, bottom line. Dude, these people are like super angry show us the mold i want to see the mold <laughs> if you guys go out and spray a damn bee's nest everybody gets an email right yes <laughs> hey you got the potential for mold and all these bad things in this building i want to hear more about that beehive that sounds very interesting i'm glad the school is keeping all the parents informed about how they're handling the formation of all these bee beehives this is vital vital information to be kept updated on routinely sir i'm not trying to be disrespectful to you we routinely do not inform the community of maintenance issues a meeting intended to address concerns about mold and upgrades <laughs> life is all about making mistakes just like this school that is failing to remove mold <laughs> i like how this is in the video our children start to school next week on monday morning there may be a considerable amount of them not here if you don't give us the reports give us the opportunity to look at them and let us get back to you that's right, Ethel. Get there, Tushy. We need those mold reports. Stat. I want some pictures, y'all. Show us the mold. Show us the mold. Show us the mold. Questions parents say brought unsettling answers. Yes, let me explain what happened. In one of the classrooms that we had our licensed uh, cleaners here to do, they missed a screen and they didn't they hadn't pulled the screen down and when they pulled the screen down there was mold on that <laughs> what so this sounds pretty bad there's mold on like a projection screen how when was the last time you used the screen there's mold on it at that point don't clean it just throw it away it's clearly not being used Glenwood parents provided the in focus team pictures of the mold found earlier that day the school system says it was immediately cleaned and inspected oh my god look at that mold look at it and all its video compression glory i can barely see it there has to be more there's no way that's all it is it's like a room full of people at this thing show us the mold show us the mold you guys came here today and said this building is safe so i would assume uh, it's a very simple thing it probably would take eight hours for someone to walk every room of the building and account for a visual inspection. i do want to go back to and what you said though if it hasn't been done that's all i'm asking okay well we're going to answer that question other concerns centered around old tennis balls on the bottoms of chairs they look old to me they look old were they how could you clean a tennis ball that still remained after what the school system calls a thorough cleaning i hate that that's that's actually weirdly common. Schools putting tennis balls at the like bottom of chairs just because like teachers don't want to take Tylenol from the chairs constantly squeaking. But after a while, I could see that getting like really gross actually because think about all the dirt and dust that's skin cells that all pile up on the floor and those those tennis balls are basically just like magnets to that. To be inside an actual clean environment, you you'd have to like at least replace those tennis balls like every so often, which you know they're not doing. Show us the mold. Show us the mold. Well, we haven't gotten an answer, but it was brought up 
to our county. So I think we need to just before Monday come up with a plan on how to replace those. And will the tennis balls be removed before Monday? <laughs> Answer this lady. Will the tennis balls be removed before Monday? I like how this lady, it's like, we need to come up with a plan to fix the tennis balls. There is no plan. You you just, you, rem you remove them or replace them or just re remove them. I came up with your plan in about three seconds. There's not many options available here. Like, come on. They agreed after discussion to toss the tennis balls before the start of school. Finally, they're getting rid of the tennis balls. Still others worried about ceiling tiles left stained, like the one directly above where we stood during our post-meeting building tour. <laughs> they're doing an interview in the hallway and just so happens that above them, there is like a stain where there's probably going to be mold any minute if they just leave that there. The tiles that had mold on them, they were replaced. Yes. All of them? The ones that we identified as having mold on more replaced. <laughs> Did you remove the, all the ceiling tiles with mold? Yes. All of them? Both of them look up. Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly. Although the school system promised a safe school, they couldn't promise mold was 100% out of the picture. An end to a meeting that left some parents nervous for the doors to open come Monday. That is hilarious. They're like, hey, guys, parents, listen. We assure you this building is safe, but we cannot guarantee that all the mold is gone, okay? Can't guarantee it. Might be some mold. Rightfully so, I think the parents should be upset. This is, this is really stupid. If they have a known mold allergy. Wait, what? If they have a known mold allergy, should they come to school on Monday? I, I would say that's a conversation between your physician and our school health office. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not an answer. <laughs> like, uh, everyone's just like, laughing at that answer. Someone working at the school likes that there's mold there. I don't know why, but somebody there likes that the mold is present because otherwise, why are we like just not getting rid of it? It makes no sense. It's like they like that it's there. Now parents reported finding what looked to be mold in the art room on their building tour last night. School communications director Rebecca Amani Dove confirms that something that appeared to look like mold was discovered behind the sink, but she says it wasn't actually mold and it has since been cleared. She says in the professional opinion of their industrial hygienist, it was dirt. If they found just that walking around, like what else could be found in an actual thorough inspection? And why would there be dirt by a sink? I guess that's where people like wash their hands, but they didn't test it and they said, but it's not mold. All right, okay. Mm. Parents pretty upset. Very upset. Everyone show up on time Monday. It's time for Moldy Middle School. Let's go. Uh, that's really gross. And this next report's about a school in Detroit that is plain and simple, just falling apart. It is decomposing. 64 or roughly two thirds of the city's public schools were closed Monday, leaving thousands of students out of the classroom, sparking Michigan's Division of the Occupational Safety and Health. <laughs> This like divider in between the doors isn't even attached to the floor. Anyone can just, you can close school, but you can't really close the school if you see what I mean. <laughs> wow, that's pretty bad. To launch an investigation into Spain Elementary School. This is our gym wing. We have been told that this portion of the building is off limits to us as of two months ago. Our pool has been empty like this for about six years. Wait, so there's an entire section of the school that is off limits. You can't even walk inside of it. It's that poorly maintained. And then they have a pool that I guess has just been abandoned for six years. Why is there a beach ball? <laughs> in this pool. If this has been abandoned for six years, who's playing with the beach ball? There's a chair. There's a chair in the deep end. I just noticed that. This might be off limits, but clearly someone is having playtime in here. We've now been banned from our own playground. What do the kids do for recess? They just stare outside? Do, do they just go and play in the abandoned pool for recess? <laughs> is that what they do? Principal Latoya Hall King told the national president of the American Teachers Federation, who flew in from Washington for the meeting, conditions at the school are intolerable. Oh my God, it looks like there's a creature underneath the floor tiles. <laughs> what the heck? This is bad. From a rodent infestation 
to girls' bathroom stalls having no doors. That's awkward. The technology classroom without access to the internet. Man, that really sucks. How are the kids all supposed to goof off and go to coolmathgames.com? I wasn't hoarse when I walked in. Are you concerned about that for the children? Absolutely. There's some obvious concerns when a portion of the, the building and the playground are inhabitable environments. I would be mildly concerned about that. <laughs> Financially, we don't have the capacity and decisions have been made uh, for years uh, about how best to use those dwindling resources. You have to really uh, use a, 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 a kind of a, a crystal ball to decide what's the best way to spend these few dollars. Although the community is divided on what to do about very real challenges. <laughs> is there just like an underground monster living underneath the school? Is this, is this where the next season of Stranger Things is going to be? There's some sort of demonic creature beneath the surface of this school. There's some untapped lore that's not being told here. So does this school still look like this? I did a quick Google search because this news report's a little old, but it says now that the Detroit School District has had long-standing facility problems, but lacked enough cash to fix them. COVID relief money is changing that. The district is investing 700 million of the 1.3 billion of COVID relief funds it received to address its facilities. So that's good. So if you live in this area, let me know, because this is something that's an update as of last year in August. Have things improved if you live in this area? Let me know in the comments. It sounds like it may have. So this particular story may have a good ending, which is good. And we have this last report telling a story that calls itself the most dangerous school in America. Let's take a look. This is the fire alarm? This is a disgrace and it's an outrage. If we did have, have a fire at all, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> What's with this drums? This is such a terrible situation. Bum, 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 bum. Someone's going to die here someday. Bum, 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 bum. If we did have have a fire at all, we'd be in big trouble. This is intense. They're really setting the mood for this. We start at the mid-school. Somebody want to pull the fire alarm? Let's see what happens. Can't hear anything? Well, that's because the fire alarm has been disconnected. <laughs> what if there's a fire? <laughs> Why would you purposefully disconnect the fire alarm? That doesn't make any sense. Just a box of spaghetti. This looks ancient and this is a fire hazard. The fire alarm system is a fire hazard itself. That's pretty bad. We have a control panel on the wall, but we have wires sticking everywhere that aren't connected to anything. Can you hear that buzzing sound? Dude, you're gonna get superpowers just by standing next to that thing. Fire alarm is working today. I don't think so, because it doesn't have a battery in there. So it doesn't work today? No. <laughs> Just checking in on the staff. Hey, is the fire alarm working today? No. How about, how about the toilets? Are the toilets working? No. <laughs> the high school. The fire alarm disconnected. And don't bother with this box at the kindergarten. It doesn't work. It's the same thing in the library. When did this thing last work? I have no idea. I've only been here four years. Wait, say that again. I've only been here four years. Why does he say it like that? Like he like he just walked into the room for the very first time. Oh, I've only been here four years. I just walked in here. What? The gym. This is the fire control box for this building. It looks like all the rest. There's a bunch of wires that aren't connected. The cafeteria. Disconnected. The maintenance shop. Where's the fire alarm box? It was sitting right here. It was. It was. I took it off. Contractor. I don't know why they took it. Why would someone take it? And why would you not care where that would have went? Like, you were just, okay, it's gone. And during the school year, some students live here at the dorm. It's like going into the bathroom and someone just like stole all the toilets and the school administration's just like, well, it was, it was here. But someone took it. But we're not gonna do anything about it. We've only been here four years. When we visited in 2010, the fire alarm had been turned off. This fire alarm didn't work four years ago. It still doesn't work. It's actually turned off. Well, I don't believe the fire suppression works either, does it, Steve? <laughs> fire suppression doesn't work either? No. What do you do if there's an, an emergency here in this building? All they can do is pick up the phone and call facilities. Why do I have this gut feeling deep inside that the phone system probably also doesn't work? So if you're in this building, you are inside a death trap, essentially. So why not call the fire department? 
it's just 700 feet away. Well, this may look like a fire department. In fact, it's just an illusion. Truck won't start. I won't start. I guess we're. <laughs> no way! Bro, are you kidding me? You have a fake fire station outside? You have a truck that doesn't even start. This place is one fire match away from just everything going up in flames. Nothing is stopping it. Seven years ago, the BIA spent almost a half million dollars building Pine Hill, a brand new volunteer fire department. However, the building has never been used. The central fire alarm doesn't work, the truck won't start, and the new equipment sits unpacked in boxes. And where are the firefighters? How many volunteers do you have in the fire department? I don't have no volunteers. Well, it doesn't matter if you have volunteers because you have a truck that won't move. It won't start. And by the time a fire is actually starting, dudes are gonna have to like start shifting through these Amazon boxes to find the equipment to even put it out because it's all just thrown in the corner of this building. Half a million dollars went into this and it just might as well be a locked up shed. If there is a, an emergency here, a fire, will the Pine Hill Fire Department be able to deal with it? No. Because you don't have a fire department, you just got a truck, it doesn't work. We have a truck that doesn't work. <laughs> Mind you, this is su supposed to help a building full of children in the case of a, an emergency. You gotta be kidding me. And it's not just ghost fire departments and broken fire alarms. There's locked exits, defective fire extinguishers, no doors on toilet stalls, non-working showers in the locker rooms. There's no water to even put out a fire. Like, period. Do the toilets even flush? Dude. Americans with disabilities violations and no bells. You ever seen a school that doesn't have a bell? No, I have not. We don't even have a cowbell. We can go up and down the hall and ring, you know? How can you run a school without bells? Dude, it's like someone wants these kids to die. Then there's building 803. The BIA spent $2.1 million for a new elementary school. When the project was almost complete, the contractor skipped town. That was two years ago. Today, it remains unfinished, locked, and unused because no one bothered to complete the project. No effing way. Holy crap, that's enough to like fix everything. What do you choose to do? Build a separate building that you don't finish and then never use. I can't believe this. Does Michael Scott run this school district? We've been sitting here with this building complete like it is now for two and a half years. It's sitting here. A brand new building. Brand new building. It's the elementary school mm -hmm. that you can't use. Twelve classrooms that we have not been given permission to use. So you keep all the children that you somehow have permission to put them in, in this like death trap. You have permission to put them there, but not this new building. Our investigation finds Pine Hill has been slapped with hundreds of unaddressed code violations, many of them critical. The director of Indian Education, Monty Russell. Nobody cares more about these kids in these schools than I do. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying that. I'm sorry. Nobody cares about these kids more than I do. That's why I stuck them in a death trap. <laughs> this is insane. Four years without working, like, smoke alarms and fire alarms. Bro, I just rented an apartment a few years ago, and I wasn't allowed to live inside of it until fresh batteries were, like, put in the smoke detectors. And you're telling me somewhere else in this country, we have hundreds of children inside of a school for years without a smoke alarm system or anything, and that's totally fine. Records show the BIA has paid the school board more than a half million dollars to replace broken fire alarms. Today, those fire alarms still don't work. So what happened to all that money? School board officials won't say. Someone is splurging and misspending this money taking vacations. This money is, this money is inside a leaking bag somewhere. That's what's happening. If this story got you really angry, uh, we'll prepare to get even more angry because I actually looked up the latest status on Pine Hills and I could only find this one news report was the latest one I could find as of February 18th, 2022. And mind you, this video is, I think, from 2014. It, th this, this report on this website basically just says, hey, we've allocated 3.6 million uh, to, to fix things up and we plan to fix it up. Um, except sounds vaguely familiar because they basically 
had the same chance years ago, and to also think that as of 2022, things are still not fixed. So for 14 years, we've stuffed kids in this building that's a death trap. It's a miracle that no fire has happened inside this building. Insane. So if there's anyone watching from this area, Pine Hills, update us in the comment. Maybe I'll pin it or something. I'd be interested to know the fire alarms were reconnected. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess probably not. If the fire alarms haven't been working for the past 14 years, why not just have them disconnected for another 14? Why not? I got really worked up about this, but uh, it was vaguely entertaining. I think things like this sometimes need a spotlight on them. Sometimes people need to have a match lit underneath their butt. Maybe that can be me, who knows? If you like this video, let me know in the comments, leave a like on it. We'll try to make more videos like these. Appreciate you guys. Consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video and hopefully some of these schools get their act together.